about a month ago I bought a new bike from a guy that labelled himself the bike man and uh, this is just an upgrade I'm doing to that bike and also a little repair. So I bought a speedometer on eBay. I think it was about seven or eight dollars for each one and I got two of them. One for my bike and one for my girlfriend's bike. Annoyingly they both didn't work when I opened them and I tested the batteries and one of them was about 2.4 volts and the other one was, was just dead flat. So I had to buy some more batteries and I figured I'd buy some decent branded ones but yeah the price was almost as much as both the speedometers, I think about $12 so yeah go figure. So anyway I installed those and now both of the speedometers work perfectly fine. steps to install it's pretty easy it came with a magnet which gets screwed onto one of the spokes on the wheel and then it comes with like a pickup sensor and the pickup sensor picks up the magnet every time it passes so you need to line up that pickup sensor as close as possible to where the magnet passes um, in the manual it recommended one millimeter so I'm using some acetone to clean off a spot on the left fork where I'll be installing mine And here's just a closer view of the magnet passing the sensor and you can see that gap between there is, is pretty close. It says one millimeter in the book but I reckon mine was more like two and it seems to be working pretty good. After the sensor is installed, you cable tie the sensor lead all the way up to the handlebars where you want to install the speedometer housing. And then again, using some acetone to clean off any sort of debris or oils that could be on the handlebar, you can stick the speedometer housing on an angle that would suit from where you're sitting and then use some cable ties to reinforce that grip. With the speedo now installed, I can carry on with the repair of my flat back tyre. Um, I actually ran over what's called a puncture vine, go figure. Uh, here's some pictures of it. You can see the little seed pods that are in there. When they're dry, they're extremely tough and they can just go straight through a rubber tyre with no problem. So you fill up a bucket of water and then you take the inner tyre tube, uh, make sure there's a little bit of air in it so it maintains its shape and then you can run the tyre through the water and if you're careful and you look close enough you'll see uh, air escaping wherever there's a puncture on the tyre. And then I use a bit of chalk there to mark on the tyre where that puncture was. So I can use my puncture repair kit to uh, repair and patch over the hole that I found. So I key the surface of the rubber tube with some sandpaper and then apply the patch with some super glue that's provided. Um, and then I can let it dry and you can see when it's dry that it's stuck correctly and you can peel the little plastic film off and it's, it's stretchy. You can see it stretches with the shape of the tyre if it's been blown up.
tyre repaired and the speedo working well, I took it for a spin down the road. The refresh rate isn't great on it, but I think the speed seems pretty accurate. I got up to about 24 k just going down the street, so I'll have to go a little bit faster when I've got more room and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Here's the top speed that I got to going down a hill on the way to TAFE one day. <laughs>